Why did America need the return and a day of prayer and repentance? We're a nation that started out in covenant with God and spread his gospel to the whole world, but now we've spiraled down to legislating immorality, calling evil good, tossing God out of our schools, and killing our own unborn children. The only way to stop the spiral, repent and return. We drove God out of our hearts, out of our government, out of our ways, out of our laws, out of the education of our children, out of the public squares. The only way to stop the spiral downward? Appeal to the one true God. When you pray, you remember that you're appealing to the highest authority there is. Nobody can go over his head. We deserve your judgment, Father, but we ask for your grace. We ask for your mercy. Return our love to you that will stand fearless in the face of evil. CBN's Gordon Robertson and his father Pat joined in. We ask you would come and heal our land and take charge. For Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. At the same time, Franklin Graham led a prayer march that thronged the Lincoln Memorial and grounds around it with many tens of thousands of prayer warriors. Vice President Mike Pence and his wife joined Graham. On the president's behalf, I want to say thank you for your prayers not only for the first family and our family, but for all of those who serve in positions of authority. With the crowd too massive to gather around one figure, they broke into prayer circles all over the mall. We bless our military, we bless our police officers, those who secure peace. Steve Morgan had a special prayer request. There'll be a tangible blessing, uh, kind of an earthquake of blessing, if I can put it that way, that will be like tremors that uh, the whole nation will feel as a result of the, the oneness in prayer that's being experienced today. I feel something really big coming. I feel another spirit of revival coming, and I'm so excited about it. And uh, my prayer is that all this craziness in 2020 just leads people to God and, and to question and to, to real life-changing power that I've experienced personally, and I want it for everyone. These events and efforts were all to the same purpose, bringing America back to its first love, repenting before a holy God. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from The Return.